if you're looking to spend the day in Greenwich Village, here are 10 things that I did with my sister when we went there and I'm pretty sure you'd enjoy doing them too. Now, Greenwich Village is a neighborhood in the Lower West Side of Manhattan known as the Bohemian Capital where the modern LGBT movement flourished. Therefore, one of the first places on your list should be the Stonewall Inn. Prior to 1969, living as a gay man or woman in New York City was very difficult. But fortunately, after the riots and the gay pride parade, things became a lot easier. As you probably know, two of the world's most awesome series was filmed here. So next up, you should definitely head to 64 Perry Street, Carrie Bradshaw's apartment as filmed in Sex and the City. In Sex and the City, Carrie Bradshaw's apartment actually cost $300, but in reality, this is a $3,000 apartment, which um, Carrie's not gonna be able to afford, really. Then head over to 90 Bedford for another photo op with the Friends apartment. When Monica lived here, she worked as a cook, and Rachel was basically unemployed until she got a job serving coffee. But apparently, the Friends apartment cost about $3,000. Most of Friends was filmed in a studio in California with the layout of the apartment not really being realistic to a New York City apartment. But nonetheless, we love Friends. A really cheap cafe that I absolutely love here is Delice and Saracen. It's all French and vegan cuisine, and I definitely recommend the spinach omelette, which obviously isn't real omelette, but um, tastes amazing. And the caramel is giving it this very lovely smell. A couple of landmarks you can miss is the Our Lady of Pompeii Church, built in 1929, reflecting the establishment of the Italian Americans living in the neighborhood. And of course, visit NYU, located in the city's most cultural area. Did you know that the university's logo is uh, actually derived from the Statue of Liberty, signifying NYU's service to New York City? Right by NYU is the Washington Square Park, and I honestly love the vibes here. You'll see musicians, artists, humanitarians, and people from all walks of life just letting their creative juices flow. Stop by at the Strangers Project, where here and also online there are over 30,000 stories about anonymous stories about people and their lives, just sharing and experiencing and then reading about it. Also right by Washington Square Park is the famous Grom ice cream, which uh, honestly I didn't have but uh, my sister loved. And if you're there on a weekend, you'll surely find yourself lost in one of the village's many flea markets. And if you're not there on a weekend, then check out the hundreds of trendy, artsy, and chic chopping scene. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay connected and uh, travel with me. That's all. Bye!